although Outsums comes with a pre-built application for end users management, in some cases, you may want to have your own end user management, like an admin to your app. For example, let's say a manager who wants to manage his resources, like creating multi-members, their accounts, and so on and so forth. Now, in such cases, you don't want to give the manager the access to the entire end user management. An additional case could be maybe you want to have your own password policies or some more validations that you want to do on maybe when somebody's account is created. Of all these aspects, in this video, I'll show you how you can create your own end user management by extending the user's application. So this is my service studio. I'm inside a React web application. Imagine I'm going to create an admin functionality in my application and this application has the rest of the stuff. I'm going to focus on the users management part. If you switch over to data side, you will see a system uh, database there. And inside that you have a user entity. This is the entity that we use for creating and managing the users. Now, if you want to go very fast, just drag and drop. This user entity uh, mostly is very similar to any other entity in our systems. If you drag and drop this here, platform will still go on and create the uh, listing and detail screen. So if you see the listing screen, there you go. The users are there. And on the detail screen, I have the details of the user. Now, if you have seen other videos about sign up and all, you'll understand that uh, as a security feature, by, by default, we don't bring the password field here. So if you want to create the user, let's say manager is logging in and creating the account, he should be able to create a password as well. So I'm going to just drag and drop and add this and tie it up with the password field. Okay, that's a security feature. Now, thereafter, to save this password, we can't do that directly in database. We have to encrypt the password with encryption. So for that, I'll add a reference to the users module where there's a pre-built function for encrypting the password. And apply. So before we create and update the account, we have to call that encryption method. Encrypt. It automatically took the username and password, which is good for me. That's how the AI comes into picture. And then I can assign the output of this to my password variable. So I'm overriding the password that user provided with the encrypted value of the same password. And here you go. The password will be created. And that's it. That's how you go and create a user management application. In summary, while it's publishing, we have a listing page, has usual features of searching, adding, you can add more features for adding, deleting, uh, changing information. So all those things happen on the detail page as well. So where all these things are available. So with this, you should be able to create your own uh, users management. Now, one, one caution there. So by default, when I drag and drop the users on uh, the main flow, it created the entity. It also created this query where it's bringing all the data right now from the users table. Uh, in reality, you may not want to do it. You only want to expose maybe a subset of users which are relevant to maybe the person logged in managing the users. So make sure you create adequate filters and the query is as per what you want. With this, let me go ahead and see if it's working fine. So this is my users list, the listing page. And if I want to create a new user, let's see if it works. Uh, wonder what password. The rest of the fields are not uh, mandatory. Uh, I didn't modify the form, but feel free to modify as you want. You can set some of these properties automatically also, like creation data I could have gotten automatically from current date and is active. So these are executive creation date, username and password. These things are important. And save. Let's see if the account got created. Wonder. It got created. So that's how you create your own end user management. Thanks for watching.